So let's get started with the first uh, adventure. I'm in an empty folder. And what I want to do, I want to go ahead and uh, select that adventure. So I'm typing the command name Expressworks and then hit enter. And uh, I select the first one, hello world. Hit enter. Now I scroll a little bit up uh, so I can see the instructions. So what it asks me to do, it wants me to create an Express.js app that outputs hello world. When someone goes to slash home. So those two pieces are important. And then I have also, I have an instruction here how to install Express locally. That's another crucial piece. And the port number will be passed in the, pro, in the process.rv2, so I don't need to worry about it. Okay, so not gonna read hints just now. Just go ahead and uh, create file. One dash hello world. And then open it in my editor. So, first of all, we need to import the Express.js library, which we would install locally a little bit later. On the second line, we create an Express.js app by instantiating. Now I'm creating my first route. Route, it's similar to endpoint. So the first uh, would be just a slash, and then I'm outputting hello world. And then I would run it on port 3000. This is not what the problem asks, but I just want to show you, wanted to show you this example. So let's save this file for now and go to the terminal. I'm in the terminal and if I do ls, I'll see my file, but I need to install the library itself. So to do that, I have two options. I can create package.json or I can create a folder node underscore modules. So the easiest way to create package.json is to use npm init. It will ask me a few questions. I'm just skipping all of them by hitting enter on my keyboard. Then I type yes and I see that I have package.json file. That's great. So let's install. I'm installing version 4.11.2 because this is the library this workshop have been tested with. If you're using a later version, especially version 5 when it comes out, use it and use at your own risk. And then I'm using dash dash save to create a record in package.json with this exact version. Okay, so one quick thing I wanted to show you, you see that node underscore module folder, that's the location. And uh, compare that with the Expressworks location, that was the global location and this is a local location. So let's do ls and we see node modules here. Now let's go to our editor. So we also see in the editor that we have this library here. So this should work. So let's go ahead and try it. Going back to the terminal and we type node and name of the program. Now we go to the browser and we go to localhost port 3000 and we see hello world. So this is working. So let's go to home. This is what the, uh, the exercise is asking us to do. So when we go to slash home, we should see hello world as well. And this is not working. So let's fix it by changing it to slash home. And also there would be a different port number.
So we change that to whatever value is provided. In case there is no value, we can just use 3000. So let's go back to the terminal. Let's kill this process with uh, control C and restart it. Each time you make a change, you need to restart the process. And let's, um, let's go to the browser. We refresh and we see hello world. So it should be passing. Now let's actually verify our solution. Express works run and the file name that will run it. Okay, so no errors. That's good. So let's verify. Okay, so you scroll up, you see the actual equals expected, and you see this green pass. That's wonderful, and uh, this is the official solution, which is pretty much the same that we had. Another way to solve this problem was to use the wildcard. If I go back to the file again and substitute this with the wildcard, this would also work because any route will output hello world. Do verify again. And it says pass again. So that's all for this exercise.